Hello, this is uh, Tice Hudson. Uh, I'm age 36, and today's date is January 13th, 2014, and the location of the interview is at the Octavia Flynn Public Library in Gallup, New Mexico, in the southwest part of the United States. And, to, oh, and today I'm going to be interviewing uh, Lois Pacenti. Uh, Lois, uh, introduce yourself. Go ahead. My name is Lois Ann Pacenti. I'm 65 years old, Navajo, and today's date is January 13, 2014, and I'm here at Gallup Public Library. All right. Um, so let's see. Where can we start? Origin. So uh, how have you been associated here with the library recently? I usually have my weaving demonstration here uh, annually, which is usually in August. So that's how I, you know, come here and uh, make an appointment and uh, and uh, provide information. And just what type of weaving does this entail? Um, just like because people, our listeners, don't really know what type of weaving um, you your expertise in weaving is. So mm. just please elaborate just a little bit. My weaving demonstration is usually on the net. Lifetime weavers, um, been weaving since my childhood years, and I usually uh, teach others about my weaving experience, skill, and usually it's uh, contemporary and non-contemporary. Um, it's a, uh, it's usually on um, preparation and weaving demonstration hands on and um and uh you know making the rug um making the rug uh, to um expert expert so it can be sold at the higher price okay um do you use uh, all natural dyes and wool um some all together um sometimes i use a natural dye and vegetable dye and uh aniline dye oh, okay but do you sometimes use the regular chemical <laughs> yes the manufactured dye yes. oh okay and that's for lower price items i guess yes oh okay and do you have like a do you raise sheep for the wool uh we used to have a lot of sheep lot over 700 when I was when I was a child herding sheep, and uh, we share the sheep, and in springtime and we save for the year. Sometimes um, we usually run out in January, and then we had we used to have my my late dad share uh, you know, sheep, you know that has a uh, you know, bigger wool or larger growth of wool and we and then we dry out and then we use that but um, nowadays um, after my parents are deceased uh, we had to buy wool from uh, shipwreck or other places oh, okay all right so um, actually how would the process be uh, let's say uh, let's start with the natural dye so where do you get your natural dye from actually Natural dye is um, usually we um, mix the black and the white to make it gray. And then uh, we used to have uh, 10, 10 color sheep that we use. And again, we can make it uh, in three colors like um, light tan, medium tan, and darker tan. Mixing it, mixing it with white, white wool. And now that we don't have tan sheep, we have to look for it. You know, like I said, it is manufacturing like um, um, sheep or you know, from or from the sheep herder. Oh, okay. okay. And so, like uh, you said, you also got them from vegetables and plants. Okay, if it's from uh, that's a little bit easier from uh, veg if it's a uh, vegetable dye. Um, I usually collect. Um, collect plants like um, along the highway, those um, big uh, rabbit, br rabbit brush. You can say it in Navajo too if you want. Okay. So. Um, 